be nervous. You're good. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday Night Max Men's Basketball here at Millette Hall. I'm your host tonight, Patrick Collins, on Red Hawk Radio, where your Miami Red Hawks will be taking on the Western Michigan Broncos. The Red Hawks, who come to, into tonight with a 9-13 record, are currently on a five-game losing streak and stand ninth in the conference. Despite the Red Hawks' struggles, the Western Michigan Broncos come to tonight with a dreadful 4-19 record, riding a max worst 13 consecutive losses. Both of these teams are desperate to find something positive going forward, and regardless, one of these teams will be snapping terrible losing streaks. Miami comes into tonight following two tough results at the, Ac at the hand of the Akron Zips, losing most recently at home on Sunday afternoon. Despite an inspired first half and a brilliant 27-point day by guard Makai Larry, Miami could not withstand the Zips' barrage in the second half following 71-59. to Similarly, Western Michigan has had their troubles finding any success this year. Despite a 13-point loss at Mac Front Runners, Ohio, and a monster 13-point effort by guard Lamar Norman Jr., the Broncos continued their downward spiral as it was their 13th consecutive loss. Tonight, it's truly imperative one of these teams finds something positive and can establish positive momentum in the home stretch of Mac play. As playoffs hopes are on life support for Miami, as Western Michigan's have soon become an afterthought. Growth and development of both these teams will be the message. As we leave Oxford and take a look around the rest of the MAC, we should have an excellent game in Toledo, where the 18 and 5 second place Rockets battle the Ohio Bobcats, who come into tonight with a max best 19 and 3 record. That game will be occurring at 7 p.m. in a battle for first place in the MAC. Likewise, as we take a look around the rest of the landscape of college basketball, we will be treated to some phenomenal games tonight. Over in Connecticut, the 24th-ranked Huskies will be taken on the 18th-ranked Marquette Golden Eagles in a top 25 clash. Similarly, as we look over East Lansing, Michigan, Tom Izzo's 17th-ranked Michigan State Spartans will collide with the 14th-ranked Wisconsin Bad Badgers in a top 10 battle. Finally, the nightcap at 9 tonight should be an excellent matchup between two top 15 teams in an epic Big Ten affair in West Lafayette as a third-ranked Purdue Boilermakers, who carry only third, three losses on the year, square off against the 13th-ranked Illinois Fighting Illini, who have a 17-5 record. Should be a brilliant preview for this upcoming March Madness. Once again, we welcome you to Red Hawk Radio for tonight's MAC action, and thanks for tuning in. Welcome back once again inside Millette Hall. I am your host, Patrick Allen, tonight, and we have a Mac affair between the Miami Redhawks and the Western Michigan Broncos tonight in men's basketball. These two teams did square off most recently in Kalamazoo on January 15th, where the Redhawks got the better of the Broncos that night. Miami was propelled by four players in double figures, with, Masa with senior Makai Larry leading the way with 15 points. Also, Miami went a perfect 15 of 15 from the line, and the sole game the Redhawks have done that this year. Combined with no second half turnovers gave the Red Hawks a successful 70-62 win over the Broncos. As we peel back the curtain on this one, while both of these teams have struggled this year, there have been great success individually for both the Red Hawks and the Broncos. Junior guard Day Day Grant has led the Red Hawks this year in points, averaging 16 points a game this year. On the other hand, the Broncos have had quite a dynamic special, special player in junior guard Lamar Norman Jr., who's averaging 20 points a game this year, coming off a monster, as I previously stated, 13-point effort at Ohio. While both these, teams, these two seasons have been less than they expected coming into this year, regardless of previous results, somebody is getting their first win in a while and hopefully can use it as a springboard for the rest of the year and going into next year. Consistency in meshing two good halves of basketball this year has been the trouble for Jack Owen's squad, and tonight is a great opportunity for the Miami Redhawks to get back in the win column and get some positive momentum for the rest of the year. Coming back tonight, Patrick Eschen will have our call on Red Hawk Radio.
Patrick Eschen back with you inside Millet Hall here on the campus of Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. The Miami Red Hawks hosting the Western Michigan Broncos this evening in men's basketball action. You heard our pregame show with Patrick Collin. You know the story coming into this one tonight. Broncos have lost 13 in a row. They're 0-11 on the road this season. Western Michigan, the only winless team in the MAC. They are 0-12 in the conference this season, 4-19 overall. Red Hawks are struggling kind of on their own terms. 9-13 overall. They're 3-8 in the MAC coming into this game tonight. Miami has lost five in a row, and they are 6-6 six six on their home floor this year. Red Hawks trying to find something, a very winnable game against the Broncos tonight on their home floor. Let's join our public address tonight. starting lineups first for Western Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Millet Hall for this evening's matchup between the Western Michigan Broncos and your Miami Red Hawks. And now let's meet tonight's starting lineups beginning with the visiting Broncos of Western Michigan. Wearing number zero, Marquise Hastings. Number one, Malik McMillan. Wearing number three, Eduardo White. Number 11, Lamar Norman Jr. And wearing number 12, Josiah Freeman. The Bronco assistants are Thomas Kelly, Crystal Kendrick, and Jacob Bullock. And the head coach of Western Michigan, Clayton Bates. So there are your starters for the Red Hawks and the Broncos tonight ahead of our Tuesday night matchup. Western Michigan has Marquise Hastings, Malik McMillan, Artis White, Lamar Norman Jr., the max leading scorer, and Josiah Freeman to start. Red Hawks will go with Grant Coleman Lands, Aya White, and Curtis Harrison, the fourth. Western Michigan is in gray uniform tonight. It has a black number and a black name on the back. And on the front of the uniform, it's got a Bronco logo on it with a number on the front as well. Kind of a newer look for Western Michigan. Went through that logo rebrand over the summer. Red Hawks appear to be in their home whites with Miami across the front. The red number on the front of the white uniform and the red number on the back. Red Hawks move right to left across your radio here in our first half of play. We mentioned the Broncos come in. Having lost 13 in a row, that's the lead losing streak currently in the back. They are the only team to have yet to win a conference game this season. Red Hawks could really use this game here tonight. They've lost five in a row themselves. Just kind of falling apart here in the middle of the season. And the news we heard earlier today, just before the game, Delonte Brown is not in the lineup today for the Red Hawks as he will most likely we're told be back this weekend 
But Brown is still out, the leading rebounder and one of the top point getters for Miami this season. So they have to find a way to get it done without him. Our tip at half court to open the game will feature Curtis Harrison, the fourth for the Red Hawks against Marquise Hastings of Western Michigan. Second time these teams have seen each other this year. Red Hawks beat the Broncos by eight in Kalamazoo on January the 15th. However, Western Michigan has won seven of their last eight in this building in the last few matchups between these teams. Red Hawks lead the all-time series 86 to 50. Waiting for TV and the USD signal to begin the game. Again, Miami moving right to left across your radio in our first half of play. Pretty light crowd on hand inside Millette, even for Miami basketball standards. Hopefully more fill in on this chilly Tuesday night across the area. All right, we're set, ready to go. Harrison and Hastings square off. The opening tip is won by the Broncos. And they will take it over the timeline, middle of the floor. Artis White with the ball, hands off to Marquise Hastings, top of the key. Western Michigan works it far away. Josiah Freeman on the ball, gets it up top to Artis White. Back to the top of the key, Freeman to the far wing in the corner with 13 to shoot is Hastings. He'll try to walk this one through the paint from the far side. Get it up top of the key, six on the shot clock. Lamar Norman Jr. kicks it near side. White, the triple is too far left. Offensive rebound though for Western Michigan. And getting that with a right-handed hook shot too hard, Malik McMillan. The ball goes out of bounds. Red Hawks are gonna get it here as we are 35 seconds into the opening half. First possession on offense of the night for Miami. As Coleman lands over the timeline, middle of the floor. Hands it over on the far side of Precious Sia. Back up top, Curtis Harrison. Near wing with it, J. White. We'll get it to Precious Sia. Inside the arc, near the baseline, 13 to shoot. Aya driving baseline. Picks it up top of the key. Now on the right wing with it is J. White. He'll try to spin his way to the left elbow. Aya there. Grab the ball, Coleman Lance got a handoff for a left wing three. That was short with two to shoot. Western Michigan in transition will travel as Artis White was moving up the floor, but he took a step too many without really any numbers defensively around him either for Miami. Inbound will come for the Red Hawks in their offensive end on the far wing. Harrison will toss it to Coleman Lance. 18.53 to go in our first half, still no score. Miami and Western Michigan. Precious side, left elbow, hands it back. Dana Grant to the near wing, outside the yard, Coleman lands. Gets it on the far side, Dana Grant, three ball right wing, too far right. Aya though corrals the rebound for the Red Hawks. He had a huge mismatch there at the hoop area. Coleman lands, gets a set up for a top of the key three. That misses too far right. And here come the Broncos, they'll shoot a left wing three. That's too far right. Off the hands of Josiah Freeman. Red Hawks to the rebound over the timeline of the right wing. Comes Isaiah Coleman Lance. Moves around a screen from Harrison. Feeds it to Harrison. Right elbow. He charged over though on his defender. Gave an elbow to Artis White. And the ball going back to the Broncos on the Red Hawk. Offensive foul with 18-16 to go in the opening period. First foul to Harrison. First foul period in the game tonight. Artis White comes over half court for Western Michigan. He's making his first appearance of the season for the Broncos in the starting lineup tonight. Gets it left elbow here to McMillan. Will step back there on Aya, get a jumper off too far right from the left elbow. Red Hawks grab the rebound, they're up the floor. Danny Grant with it. Over the timeline, middle of the floor. We'll toss it back here to My J. White. Near wing is Coleman Lance, gets it far away. Harrison driving in baseline, goes to the far corner. Locked up with two Broncos, he flails out a prayer pass. Finds White on the near wing outside the arc with 12 to shoot. Bounces it right way, Coleman lands. Dishes over, wide open Harrison will get a jumper off from 20 feet away, that's short. And the rebound to Josiah Freeman. We are two and a half minutes in, there's still no points in this game. Artis White for Western Michigan is fouled. Coming through the lane, Coleman Lance provided contact before White tried to go up for the layup. And the clock stopped here with 17.24 to go in the first, and White will go to the line for a pair of free throws. Mentioned Artis White had no appearances this season until this evening. He averaged 14.3 points per game last season in 19 appearances, and his first free throw is short. 
Kyler, who is off the bench now for the Red Hawks for his third straight game will come out, or come in rather, I should say. Coleman Lands goes out for the Red Hawks. That's the first Miami sub here of the stoppage. And the next free throw is in for Artis White. So it's one nothing Western Michigan with 17.21 to go in the first half. Larry's over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks, bounces near wing. It's Harrison holding on with both arms. He is 18 to shoot, a pass top of the key and a precious side goes out of his reach. They call a backcourt violation, it deflected into the backcourt. And the Red Hawks there with an unforced error will turn it over back to the Broncos. Just a simple feed top of the key to a wide open precious side who coughed it up. And it went into the backcourt, Red Hawks called for the violation. Broncos here will set up for it. Top of the key is Artis White. Gets it there for Lamar Norman Jr. For Western Michigan, charges himself down the right wing. Hit the brakes there, right edge of the paint. Hastings kicks it corner, Norman Jr. Three ball too far right, ball tipped out of bounds. They get a whistle here as it went off Aya's hand for Miami at the Red Hawk baseline. Broncos will inbound with 16.53 to go first half. And a 20 second shot clock, they lead the game one to nothing. Very low scoring affair so far. Pass goes to the top of the key. Norman Jr. to Freeman, near wing. Charges through the paint. Jumper from five feet away is good. Left side of the paint. Josiah Freeman out of Manassas Park, Virginia. So 3 nothing Broncos. Miami still looking for their first points here. We're about three and a half minutes in. High at top of the key. Gets it far away for Dana Grant. Outside the arc to the right wing. He'll dribble his way down low. Aya working here in the post. Spin around shot is good. From three feet away is Aya that time beating Hastings down low. With the shot, he kind of spun around and Hastings has an inch advantage on Aya too height wise. 3-2 Western Michigan, top of the key with it. Josiah Freeman, near wing feet for Artis White. Gets it up top here for Malik McMillan. Tosses far wing. Outside the arc, with it there is Hastings. Gets it up left wing, three ball is good from downtown Malik McMillan. Who's shooting 31% from behind the arc this year, puts the Broncos up six to two. Red Hawks the ball near wing. And their offensive end, MyJ White, top of the key here for Day Day Grant, he'll spin off a three, well too far right from that area. Broncos all alone to grab the rebound, they toss it up the right wing, Freeman. Hits the brakes outside the arc, gave it up to McMillan. Top of the key now with it is Norman Jr. He is fouled inside the arc by White. Too much contact, and we get a whistle for the game's first media timeout. 15-29 to go, first half. It's a good start for the Broncos. They're up 6-2 on the Miami Red Hawks, and this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
6-2 Western Michigan over the Miami Red Hawks. 15-29 to go first half. Patrick Eschen back with you inside Millette Hall. We appreciate you spending a portion of your Tuesday night with us. It has been a pretty cold first half in terms of scoring so far. Just eight points combined between both of these teams. As the Broncos inbound here near side of their own end of the floor. Working on the timeline, Hastings with the top of the key and gets it to Titus Wright. Far wing is Max Smith, back up top to Hastings. Top of the key, Norman Jr. Near wing outside the arc is Martin. Back up top, Freeman, floater through the lane was too hard, rebound comes down. We get a whistle for a foul, it's on Western Michigan. As they both crash for it on the far wing. For the rebound, both teams did. 15.09 to go here in the first half. Ball headed back to the Red Hawks. McNamara will toss it in for the far side of the Red Hawk baseline. In there to Mackay Larry. He's over the timeline for the Red Hawks on the right way. Miami's still trying to just get some more points in this game. Five minutes in, and we only have two on the board for Miami so far this evening. Larry gets it left elbow for Dana Grant, down low to the baseline. Precious high, the right-handed dribble, working hard, gets it top of the key. Larry, three ball, well downtown is short. He was not too good in that area. And the Red Hawks lost to Akron on Sunday. Hastings over the timeline, right wing for the Broncos. Red Hawks as a team are one for seven in their last seven field goal attempts. Martin with it up top of the key here for Max Smith of the Broncos. Hands off to Lamar Norton Jr. With nine to shoot, he'll get it to the far corner. Martin on it here, fires off a three. It's good for Adrian Martin. He had Grant guarding him, but Grant was a good three steps away from Martin, allowed enough room to get off the shot. 9-2 Broncos. Top of the key is Larry, works it down through the paint, bounce pass left wing to Williams. Near side is Grant, top of the key, Larry. Three ball, too far right. Rebound pops out to the near corner. Max Smith grabs it for the Broncos. Gets it to Martin here over the timeline on the left wing for Western Michigan. Over there for Smith, far side in front of the Red Hawk bench. Up for a right on the left wing, returns to Smith. 15 to shoot. Martin top of the key for Western Michigan. Drove down the left side, kicked it back up top, Smith. Right-handed dribble, works it to the glass. It's short, a layup with a right arm from distance. And it's Williams with the rebound. Kamari Williams for Miami over the timeline here on the right wing. Near side with it is Makai Larry, holds it above his head. Up top for Dana Grant, inside the arc, then back out, fires off a right wing three, too much. Great rebound coming in to swoop and grab it was Hastings for Western Michigan with 13-10 to go. Here in the first half, it's 9-2 Broncos. Martin with it, top the key for Western Michigan. Tosses over there for Max Smith. Back up top, Hastings. Walks it down the right elbow, bounce pass. Went to Dana Grant, he picked it off for the Red Hawks. Ran over the timeline, middle of the floor. Tosses over, Williams, three ball right wing. That's short, rebound to Hastings. Miami is one for 10 from the field to start this game. Broncos turn it over, Larry grabs it away from Norman Jr. Larry to the rack with the left arm and it's good on the layup. As he drove coast to coast, crashed to the floor, still got it in. And it's 9-4 Western Michigan with 12.27 to go in the first half. Broncos call a timeout. Back and forth we go inside the Hall. Oh, it's a media timeout as well. As the Broncos will use their first timeout of the evening. Again, 12.27 left here in our first half. 9-4 Western Michigan over Miami. We're back in a moment. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
12.27 to go, first half, 9-4, Western Michigan over Miami. Patrick Eschen back with the inside, Millette Hall. Just a really slow first half offensively. You can argue for both teams, but especially Miami has started out this game two for 11 from the field. That's 18.2%. Just anemic for the Red Hawks. Broncos inbound far side of their offensive end of the floor with a 25 second shot clock. Artis White with it here top of the key. Broncos using the timeout to send us to the media break. A few fresh faces out here for Western Michigan as well out of the timeout. Top of the key is Artis White. Gets it far away to Owen Lopsinger. Freshman from Flint, Michigan. Gets it over there to Adrian Martin. Martin with two to shoot. Gets to the free throw line. He's fouled. Got a shot off. It bounced short. And so we will get a couple of shots here coming up at the line for the Broncos. Not sure who exactly picked that up there for the Red Hawks. But Martin heads to the line to shoot two. He's four for eight from the line this season. He got 12-04 to go in the first. And the first one is good from Martin. Getting the foul is Day Day Grant for the Red Hawks. It's his first of the night. Martin's next is good. 11-4 Broncos. Successful trip at the line for Adrian Martin, the junior from Sugar Hill, Georgia. Larry with the top of the key for the Red Hawks. Around the arc, far away, and gets it near side for Grant. And at the left elbow, McNamara works his way down, left side of the paint. On the pivot foot, can't win the post battle, has to kick it out near wing. Larry to the Mac logo in the paint, step back jumper missed from seven feet out in the lane. Here comes Western Michigan. White over the timeline, knocks over Larry. They play on. Feed to the corner for Lobsinger. Gets it far side, back for White. Three ball too far left. Dana Grant with a rebound for the Red Hawks. Western Michigan themselves are three for 11 from the field in this game, so both teams are abysmal from shooting in this game as Grant coming down the left wing with a charge toward the hoop. He got fouled there by Martin. We get a whistle for that. And two shots at the line for Dana Grant, who was trying to take it coast to coast for the Red Hawks. You have 11.20 left in our first half. First trip to the line for any Red Hawk tonight. First one is good by Grant to make it a six point Bronco lead. And Grant will sigh off here for the next one. That's good. It's pretty quiet in here when the Red Hawks shoot free throws. 11 to six, Broncos. White over the timeline on the right wing. Gets it to Martin. Here's Lopsinger at the top of the key. Back to the near wing for Adrian Martin. Works at top of the key. Right wing Lopsinger with 15 to shoot. Gets it baseline. Kicks it back out near wing for Culp. Danny Culp tosses far side. Three ball on the way. That's good. On the far wing by Max Smith. Western Michigan in the game is three for seven. From outside the arc, they take a 14 to six lead. A Broncos team that's lost 13 in a row. McNamara with it here in the far corner for the Red Hawks on offense, trying to drive his way in. A left-handed hook shot missed too hard as he got body position there at the Mac logo in the paint. Here comes White over the timeline, feeds near wing, lopsing her to the corner. On it here now is Adrian Marzin for Western Michigan. Lopsinger, the pass to Danny Culp, right side of the paint. Culp driving in there on McNamara, will hit the brakes, kick it back out top of the key. Max Smith over there for Adrian Martin, the three ball, too much on it. Down to the rebound, Kavari Williams. Tosses up here, Myjay White goes to the rack. He will pass it near corner, goes out of bounds. I believe off a Bronco foot as White just does not have enough there to go up for a, shoot, for a shot, not enough room. So we have 10.03 to go here in the first. I is back in for the Red Hawks. So is Coleman Lands. Broncos make a few substitutions as well to bring Norman Jr. back in. I believe Hastings returns as well. Near side inbound from the Red Hawk offensive baseline by Coleman Lands. Give and go feed there with Precious Aya as we hit the halfway mark of the first half. 
Top of the key with Kamari Williams. Tosses near wing. Outside the arc, Coleman lands. Bounces left side of the post. Iowa stripped. Got it back. He'll tend to shoot. Larry with the top of the key. Feeds it near wing. Open three. Coleman lands. Gets it. A desperately needed shot for the Red Hawks. Who now trail by five. 14 to nine. Broncos. White is over the timeline, middle of the floor for Western Michigan. Gets it top of the key for Max Smith. Fires far away for Norman Jr. Grabbing it here is Artis White. White back up top of the key with it for Western Michigan. Will bounce a spin pass here to McMillan with eight to shoot. McMillan free throw line. Pitches into the post with it is Hastings and he's fouled by Aya. Or is it on? Western Michigan initially, the Red Hawk bench thought the foul was an offensive violation on the Broncos, but now it's come out that the foul was on Aya for reaching in. 9 14 to go in the first. And you have free throws coming up at the line here for Western Michigan. Hastings will shoot a pair. He got a great feed from outside in the post. Hastings was double teamed to the right side of the post area. And Aya reached in on him to generate the foul. A lot of people thought that there was not enough contact by Aya inside the gym. First free throw missed by Hastings. He'll have another one here. And that one pops in and out. So he goes over two at the line. Much to the chagrin of the Red Hawk fans. Here comes Larry on the timeline, middle of the floor. Left handed dribble, takes it around the arc, kicks it over far away. Open look. Williams for three, buries it. And all of a sudden, it's a two-point game led by the Broncos. Red Hawks in a bit of a run here. 8.50 to go in the first. On the timeline, left wing is Artis White. Gets it back for Hastings. Here's Norman Jr., top of the key for Western Michigan. 6-0 run for Miami in the last two minutes. Inside the arc, McMillan with it for the Broncos, working against Aya. McMillan driving in with the right shoulder, steps back for a shot, and that is good. All over Aya in the post was Malik McMillan to put the Broncos back up by four. 8.20 left here in the first half. Larry with it, gets it far corner. On it there was MyJ White, back for Larry, right wing three, short, down to the rebound. Western Michigan grabs it. Smith feeds far away for Artis White. Over the timeline here on the left wing. Gets it back up top for Max Smith. Near wing Norman Jr. outside the arc. Top of the key, Smith. Far side is White. Pitches it inside the arc for Hastings. Holds it above his head with both arms. Hastings working. Left side of the paint. Whistle for a foul. That's a charge. As he laid a shoulder right into J. White. And the ball headed back to Miami after a media timeout. 7.52 to go in our first half. It is a dogfight inside Millette. 16 to 12, Western Michigan over Miami. And we're back with you in a moment. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
752 remains in our first half, 16 to 12, Western Michigan over Miami. It's been a pretty good night so far for the Broncos. As the Red Hawks inbound here from their own end of the floor over the timeline. Middle of the floor is Makai Larry for the Red Hawks. On the right-handed dribble here at the top of the key. Larry tosses over far side. Coleman lands is with it. Back up top, Larry. Near wing is Dana Grant inside the arc. Kicks it a shot there that went too far right. And it keeps it a four-point lead for Western Michigan with 7.25 to go in the first. White is over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Broncos. Kicks it top of the key for Lamar Norman Jr. Works it down the right side of the paint. Norman Jr. driving in on Dana Grant. Whistled over for an offensive foul. He got an elbow up a little bit. Didn't look too major, but the referee from the near side called it. And Norman Jr., the max leading scorer, gets his first of the night in terms of the foul department. 7-13 to go first half. Red Hawks in offense. Top of the key is Mikai Larry. Tosses near wing here for Dana Grant. On the near wing, Grant tosses there. by Jay White driving in toward the baseline. He lost out of bounds. Just cleanly stripped away from his hands. I don't know if Norman Jr. got any contact in that ball or not, or just cleanly went out off of MyJ White, just let it go. But anyway, the Broncos over the timeline, middle of the floor, it's Artis White with the ball. Drives it down through the lane, right side, the right-handed layup is good for Artis White. And it's 18 to 12. Larry tosses left wing over the timeline, Coleman lands with the ball. Pitches it to Precious Zaya, top of the key, MyJ White works it far wing for Larry. Back up top, Dana Grant, the right elbow shot there is good. He kind of floated it right on the right elbow. Make it a four point game again in favor of the Broncos at 18 of 14. 6.20 left, first half. Artis White, top of the key, Western Michigan. Works it down the right side, kicks it near wing, Norman. Fed it top of the key, McMillan back to the near wing, White outside the arc, works on Coleman Lance, step back, three is good. Artis White. With a great step and move to the arc and then kind of back out is completely biting was White as the garter. Red Hawks working here on offense. Left wing is Mizey White outside the arc. Coleman Lance flips it past far corner. Three shot there is good for Larry. And it's 21-17. It's stayed a four point game for the majority of this last three to four minutes. Hastings top of the key for Western Michigan. Spins around to the far side, gets it back up top, McMillan. Near wing is Artis White with 13 to shoot. Far wing, McMillan, left side three, short. Rebound grabbed here by Grant. Up the floor over the timeline for the Red Hawks. Larry with it for Miami, near wing for Coleman Lance. 22 on the shot clock here, gets it right wing for White. A three ball that bounces off the front of the rim and caroms over the backboard out of bounds. And the ball headed back to Western Michigan with 5.13 to go in the first half. A four point Bronco lead at 21 to 17. And again, Western Michigan trying to win their first conference game of the year tonight. They've lost 13 straight. Top they key with it. Norman Jr. works it around the arc, down the right side, stripped the ball out of bounds. It goes off of Norman Jr. as I got his hand in there to knock it free. And then Norman Jr. kicked it out with his right foot of the baseline. 4.58 to go in the first. You have a Red Hawk inbound coming from the near baseline in their own end. MyJ White is out, Harrison is in for the Red Hawks. And it's Harrison who tosses in here to Makai Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor for Miami. Larry will dance his way to the left side. Pitch it in there for Dana Grant, back up top of the key, Coleman Lance. Holds on to it here, gets it near side for Dana Grant. Grant the left-handed dribble, will shoot it, left elbow, it's good, and the jumper there. Two-point lead for the Broncos, Red Hawks cut it to a 21-19 WMU advantage. White is over the timeline here on the right wing, gets it far side for Freeman. Back up top, Danny Colt, near side is White. With 4.20 left first half. 
Norman Jr., far wing Hastings, gets it left side for Artis White. Right-handed dribble, kicks it far wing. Holding on here is Hastings, whistle blows for a travel. As he was walking it down to the far corner. And I guess took a step too many there on the Red Hot Gardner. That was Dana Grant on him. And Miami will inbound here on the far side of their own end of the floor as it is Harrison to toss it to Makai Larry. Larry's over the Tom line here on the right wing. Right handed dribble here for Makai. Near side is Coleman Lance. Top of the key is Grant. Bounce pass, Larry, right elbow jumper, good. Easy one there for Nakai Larry. It ties the game at 21. 3.43 to go, first half. We are knotted up inside Millette as the Red Hawks in a 5 0 run in the last two minutes. Norman Jr. top the key, Western Michigan. Gets it right elbow there for Colf. Hands off to Artis White. He's back up top for Western Michigan. Kicks it far wing. Smith, long range three. Too hard, goes off the top of the backboard. Karam's back into play. Larry grabs it over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. Feeds it right wing, three ball. Grant is good, and the Red Hawks take the lead. 24-21, the triple is working for Miami these last few possessions. Western Michigan trying to answer. They're scoreless in the last three minutes. Here's a left elbow floater. That is good from Norman Jr. Worked his way for the near side, got to the far edge of the paint and floated it up and in for two on a few Red Hawks. 24-23 Miami. Top of the key with it is Harrison. Feeds it near wing outside the arc. McNamara hands it off here. Dana Grant will dribble his way to the far side. Feed it top of the key. Coleman Lance, three ball, pops in and out. Rebound to Hastings. Here's Artis White on the timeline left wing, Western Michigan. Kicks it over Hastings, tries a three ball. That is in. As Hastings was guarded there by Larry. Larry was three steps behind him and never moved. And Western Michigan retakes the lead at 26 24. 2.13 to go first half. Top of the key, McNamara holds it above his head. Left-handed dribble down toward the baseline. Feeds it near corner. Jumper there by Grant. Too much on that. Rebound to Artis White up the floor for Western Michigan. Kicks it far wing. Max Smith to the rack off the window. Too hard whistle for a foul. And it's going to be on McNamara for reaching in with 1.59 to go in the first. We get immediate timeout. Western Michigan 26. Miami 24, what a good one we got going inside Millette Hall tonight. Back with more in a moment. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Hello once again. I am Patrick Allen coming up on your halftime report. We will take a look back at the first half with the Miami Red Hawks, and we will update you on your stats, and we will take a peek on the out-of-town scores. That's coming up again on your halftime report. Back to you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Looking forward to it. And that comes with 159 to go in our first half. 26-24, Western Michigan over Miami. Broncos will have some free throws here coming out of our timeout. Again, they are up by two. Max Smith will head to the line, a 68% free throw shooter on the year will fire off two as it came from the McNamara foul that sent us to the timeout. And the first lead all scores this evening. And the second one is good by Smith to make it a four point Bronco lead at 28-24. 155 to go here in the first half. Red Hawks still on that 7-0 run. With it on the left elbow, Precious Eye for Miami. Tosses back here to Mikhail Larry. Far corner, a white three ball. Too far left, got a feed there from Coleman Lands. Rebound swooping in to grab it, Norman Jr. He'll kick it here to the far corner, Hastings, top of the key. Work his way around the arc, there was McMillan. Toss up there for Smith to the near corner, Martin. Right elbow with it is Hastings with a pass to the post. Whistle for a foul, it is on the Broncos. As McMillan there knocked over Precious Eye in the post before the pass came in down low. Referee's right there to whistle it. And Miami gets it back here with 123 to go in the first half. Over the timeline, there comes Mikai Larry for the Red Hawks. Dribbles it around the arc, feeds it far away for Dana Grant. Maize White is on it here, top of the key. He'll toss it over on the far side for Dana Grant. Long range three, that is in and out. About as close as you could get to get going in, and then it popped back out. As the ball heads out the baseline, Broncos get it back with 104 to go in the first. Close one there for the Red Hawks, who still trail by four. Martin's over the top line here on the right wing for Western Michigan. Gets it top to keep for Max Smith, fires over on the far wing. With it in his hands here is Norman Jr. Gets it left elbow, feed to the post, Martin. Far corner, holding on with 12 to shoot. The feet up high to Norman Jr. Came there for Freeman. They get a whistle here on a Norman Jr. Drive in toward the hoop. It's gonna be a foul on the Red Hawks and I think they got White for a reach in. It's the second to MyJ White personally. Miami's seventh as a team, so Western Michigan is now in that one and one bonus. You have one and one free throws coming here for Norman Jr. First one is good. Make it 29-24. Norman Jr. We mentioned at the top, first in the MAC in scoring this season, averaging 20.2 a game. Norman Jr. tonight just has four points after that first made free throw. It's been kind of a quiet night for him. Quiet night of offense for both sides. That one is good. All right, 40 seconds to go. Six point Bronco lead, two for two trip at the line for Norman Jr. Top of the key, here's Mikai Larry for the Red Hawks. Works it around the arc, top of the key, back with it, precious eye. Larry feeds it near wing outside the arc. Coleman lands, holds it above his head with 12 to shoot. Precious eye now holds on to it, gets stripped away in the ball. In the paint, Broncos have it, the shot clock is off. 15 seconds to go in the first. Norton is over the timeline, middle of the floor, hands it off to Lamar Norton Jr. Holds it in both arms here for Western Michigan. Norton Jr. around the arc here on the far away, fires off a shot, long range three short, and that'll run out the time here in the first half. And your halftime score, Western Michigan 30, Miami 24. The Broncos right now in the mix to snap their 13 game losing streak and win their first MAC game of the season. They are 0-12 in the league this year. Six point advantage at the half for the Broncos. Red Hawks is kind of really anemic there at the start. They only had four points within the first seven minutes or so of the half. And they kind of did not really ever catch up to that as long as they were with the Broncos in this game. Both teams kind of keeping their own paces here in the first few minutes of it. 
Patrick Hall, and it's your halftime report coming up in just a moment. Stay with us for that with your stats, highlights, analysis, and more of our first half. Stay with us. Halftime report coming up next in just a moment. It is a 30-24 Bronco lead at the half, and this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Hello and welcome to your halftime report. I'm Patrick Holland, your host tonight on Red Hawk Radio. Uh, right now your Miami Red Hawks are trailing at the half, 30-24 to 24 to the Western Michigan Broncos. To start this game, Miami really struggled to get into any sort of rhythm. Five minutes into the game, Miami only had two points to start off one for seven shooting. They dug himself into an early 9-2 to two hole. However, they have held leading score in the MAC, Lamar Norman Jr., to only five points. When taking a look at the statistics right now, the Western Michigan Broncos are shooting nine for 21 field goal percentage. That's at a 42, almost a 43% clip. They're five for 13 from the three. That's at 38%. And they're seven for 10 from the free throw line. Uh, your Miami Red Hawks are nine for 27. That's a 33% clip. They're four for 16 from three point. They're shooting 25% from three point percentage and they're two for two from the free throw line. They uh, they really dug themselves an early bad, bad hole, but they've only cut the lead down to six points here, and it's been uh, kind of an up and down half. Both teams sort of struggled to come out, and uh, you know, this has been a, a tough half, but Miami's hoping to get, just get themselves back, in, back into a winning position here, having uh, lost the last five games. And Western Michigan is currently winless in the back, so this would be a, uh, a real shame if they got their first one against your Miami Red Hawks. Again, it's been a tough half. Um, you know, the leading scorer for the Miami Redhawks is Day Day Grant. He has nine points. He's three for nine, one for four for three, and he's shooting two for two from the line. They've also got Makai Larry contributing with seven points. He's three for seven from the field goal. For field goal. Uh, on the other hand, they've done a great job. You know, we've talked about Lamar, Lamar Norman Jr. as the leading scorer in the MAC, and they've only caught him. Held him in check with only four points. He's one for four. He's one for four from the field goal line, and he's 0 for two for three. So in the second half, Miami's going to have to figure out some way to get their offense going and really uh, have a nice second half push. Because we uh, we watched that Akron game last week. The second half was a problem. So stringing together two good halves of basketball has been the problem all year, and hopefully Miami can have a nice second half.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Hawk Radio. Once again, I'm Patrick Holland with your halftime report. Uh, your Miami hit Red Hawks at the half are once again trailing the Western Michigan Broncos 30 to 24. Uh, the Miami Red Hawks are going to need a strong second half to stop their five game losing streak. Um, as we take a look outside of Oxford and look around the rest of the MAC, uh, the game I previewed in the pregame, if you were listening, was the Ohio Bobcats against the Toledo Rockets for first place in the MAC. And at half, the Toledo Rockets came out strong, and they're up 38 to 27 on. Ohio Bobcats, which is a pretty surprising result. Uh, Kent State is playing Bowling Green. Kent State is currently leading 29 to 23. In Ball State, they are leading the Central Michigan Chippewas. I'm sorry, they are trailing 32 to 27. And then in Buffalo, they are leading 44 to 31 over the Eastern Michigan. As we look back at our uh, those games previewed in the top 25, the Connecticut Huskies are leading Marquette 53 to 44. Wisconsin at half is leading the Michigan State Spartans 29 to 23. Once again, we will come back to you with uh, Patrick Geshen, and we will talk about the game thus far. Thank you, and this you listen to a presentation of Red Hawk Radio. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Red Hawk Radio. Once again, I'm your host, Patrick Allen, for this halftime show. Uh, your Miami Red Hawks are trailing the Western Michigan Broncos 30-24. to I'm here with our play-by-play -play host, Patrick Geshen. And Patrick, this was a, uh, a rough start to this game. Um, you know, we looked, we talked about the numbers. It was a uh, two for 11 start, 18%. You know, they start off so slow. How in the second half are they not going to be able to, how can they prevent themselves from getting in that habit again? I think it was a lot of shot selection there, Patrick, and that was what really caused Miami to not shoot well from the field early on in the game. I mean, you look at some of the shots the Red Hawks have chosen to take the last few games are not the best, right? Off balance with the fenders on them, low probability type of looks. I think when you, you know, hear about the, the, the things coming out of this team that the coaches tell the media and different things like that, they want better shot selection. Um, so I think that's where it starts, number one. And then and then number two, you know, the Red Hawks tend to wait a little bit too long with a shot clock before making 
a shot selection, and that's what causes them to have a poor shot selection. So kind of speed things up a little bit too, I think would, would also help Miami, but it was a pretty abysmal start to the game for both teams really shooting from the field. I think the Broncos started three for 10, Miami was two for 11. So it wasn't yeah. easy out there to start. Yeah, no, the numbers were not great to start this game off. I mean, they're only down by six here. You know, they both teams did find a way to shoot yeah. back into this, but you know, it's surprising when we've talked about Lamar Norman Jr. We covered him talking in, he's leading the Mac in scoring. You know, they all held him in check here so far. You know, he only has, eight, I think it's five points so far. It's, yeah. uh, what have they done so far to contain him? Uh, I mean, just keep him away from the ball, really. I mean, force these other guys to make plays for Western Michigan. I noticed the Red Hawks were double teaming Norman a little bit, you know, throughout that first half. There was some other effective defensive techniques Miami was running as well in those first 20 minutes that prevented Norman from seeing the ball and having the opportunities. Because once he gets the ball, you know it's most likely going to go in. The way this guy plays his athleticism, getting to the rack well, he's a physical player too. So Miami did a really good job containing him. The problem was they didn't contain everybody else, you know, on the floor for the Broncos in terms of uh, them being able to make plays. These other players that we're seeing have effective nights like White, like McMillan, like Hastings. Uh, and so, you know, Miami's got to adjust a little bit. Maybe take the, the foot off the pedal a little bit with the Norman defense, but get some of these other guys some coverage too on D. Right. So, you know, they're only down, like I said, by six points here. Yep. It's, it's within reach. We saw what happened on Sunday when they played Akron. That second half was not pretty. They, they got really outscored. It was right. bad. Um, how do they prevent that from, from not happening in this game? And, and getting, you know, a five-game losing streak has been tough. How do they get off? Well, that? you got to get out to a good start, right? And right. that's not what the Red Hawks did in the first half, and so they fell behind because of it. Down by six by the half. I think Miami put in a few more buckets there in the first five minutes. We'd be talking about a different story in this game right, right. now, but obviously that's not the case. Miami's got to start this half off well in order to get a shot. They can't just kind of have a slow first five minutes, first seven minutes, and then get going, right? They've got to continue that pace and that momentum here through the entire half. They got to play a full 20 minutes and then Miami's got a shot in this one. It's going to be a close game. Right. Yeah, I think the word we mentioned a lot on Saturday and throughout the whole year has been consistency. Yep. Finding consistency throughout a full game has been the problem. So let's hope in the second half they can figure that out and, uh, and get some offense going here. All right, Patrick, it's, uh, it's, it's been a you know a little bit of an up and down first half, but let's see in the second half how they play. And uh, this, once again, has been a presentation of Red Hawk Radio, um, and we'll, we'll see you in the second half. Patrick gets you back with you here inside Millet Hall, Oxford, Ohio, 30-24, Western Michigan over Miami with the lead as we start our second half of this game. Red Hawks trying to snap their five-game losing streak tonight. Western Michigan attempts to snap their 13-game skid this evening. One of them will expire, but which one will find out in these next 20 minutes of play? Miami will inbound the ball. They move left to right across your radio. In our second half, they've got it on offense here to start. It's Danny Grant near Wayne, top of the key feed to Precious Zaya. And on the far side is J. White kicking it far corner there to Danny Grant. Grant copped it up, baseline. It went out of bounds. Or did they call a foul? Yeah, they called a foul there in the Broncos. Grant copped it up on the baseline. He was contacted by a Bronco down low. There was bodies blocking my view. I'm sorry, I couldn't see who it was. But the Red Hawks inbound here with a fresh 20, 17 seconds into our second half. Larry Farway gets it up top for Precious Sia. Back for Larry, far side of the corner. Gets off a jumper short. Rebound is crapped here by Aya. Gets it toward the baseline, kicks it up top of the key. Day Day Grant with it here for the Red Hawks. He will fire off a left elbow jumper. That misses too far right. Freeman the rebound for Western Michigan. And here come the Broncos up the floor. 
Freeman got that foul, by the way. It's his first of the game to get us to our last stoppage. Six point Bronco lead, they pass it in the post, get knocked away there from McMillan. Here comes Miami as White got in the way of that pass. White back down the floor, coast to coast. Will fire off a shot with his right arm, too far right. And here come the Broncos at the right wing, but a pass forward. White was trying to go into the offensive end for the Broncos. He got picked off there by Larry. And then Larry stepped out of bounds on the far sideline near half court to give it back to the Broncos. So Larry almost got a turnover win there for the Red Hawks, but then Western Michigan stole it away themselves. Here's White with it, top of the key, Freeman. Gets it near wing for Norman Jr. Left wing, triple good for Norman Jr. And we wondered when he would wake up in this game. Maybe he has done so here. Western Michigan is on a 12-0 run in this game right now. They're up 33-24. Larry with it right elbow, gets it to the near side. Harrison, the jumper from 10 feet away, whistle for a foul along the baseline as Hastings got in there and made contact. Second is whistled against Hastings in the game. Broncos second of the second half. Foul comes with 18.27 to go in the half. And a pair of shots at the line here for Harrison. First one is good. Curtis Harrison is 12 for 15 at the line coming into this game here this evening. And the next one is good as well. All right, here comes the Broncos over the timeline, middle of the floor. This is Artis White. With a bounce pass to the right elbow here for McMillan. Top of the key, Hastings. Near wing is White with the ball. Pitches down low here to McMillan. Left side of the paint, 13 to shoot. McMillan working through the paint against Aya. Spin around, cut back, off the glass too far left. Great move there to get space, just couldn't get the bucket to fall. Larry up the floor for the Red Hawks. Near wing pass, three ball too far left off the hands of I.J. White. He gets tipped out of bounds though by the Broncos in the baseline during the rebound. And the ball is going to stay here with Miami, who has a fresh 20-second shot clock with 17.56 left in our second half. Grant inbounds the ball, far side here from Akai Larry, works it left side of the paint. Larry working through the Mac logo. Top of the key, Dana Grant feeds it near white. Coleman Lance holds on here with both arms. Walks it back outside. Coleman Lance feeds it near wing. Larry outside the arc, three balls short. Rebound grabbed here by Miami, going up for the second effort. There was Curtis Harrison to make it 33-28. He grabbed the rebound on the missed shot, was patient, popped up at the right time and put it off the glass for two with both arms. White near wing for the Broncos, gets it top of the key for Lamar Norman Jr. He comes down the right side of the paint, gets it back up to the right wing. McMillan, three balls short, that was from way downtown. Larry grabs the rebound for the Red Hawks over the timeline, middle of the floor. Larry feeds it near wing. Here's Dana Grant with the ball. Tosses back up to the far side. On it here is Coleman Lands. Back up top of the key for Larry. Far side with it is Harrison. Holds on with both arms for the Red Hawks. 10 to shoot. Coming out of the far corner there. Grant, the one handed pass. Picked off, trying to go top of the key. Artis White down the floor, coast to coast, off the glass for two. And he had. Aya coming in from behind him. Larry was in the area as well. And then Aya coming down the floor with velocity there, trying to get in the way of White, is down on the floor under the Red Hawk hoop, tying his right shoe. Usually I thought it was hurt, but seems to be all right. Just needed to tie his shoe, but Aya does limp back to the bench. Beg your pardon, he is not okay. So I's gonna exit this game. Red Hawks will have to throw in someone to take his place. They put Harrison in for Aya. Red Hawks inbound here on their own baseline. Here comes Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Red Hawks trail by seven, 16 and a half to go in the second half. Far side pass, Danny Grant works it around the arc, top of the key. Bounce pass to the near corner, Coleman Lance. 
Pitches in here to Harrison on the right side of the paint. Harrison spins around Mac Logo. Trying to throw it up. It was kind of blocked there by McMillan. Harrison works it back. Lost it though on the floor. Here comes White up the right wing for Western Michigan. Sets up a Norman Jr. three that's short. Hastings the rebound. Tosses out. Freeman left wing three. That's too far right. And it's grabbed here by Dana Grant up the floor for the Red Hawks. He's over the timeline left wing. Pitch is here for Larry, and Larry will be whistled for an offensive foul. I beg your pardon, it was Corant away from the ball, they got whistled for the foul. Larry held up an elbow when he drove in, but it was Corant with contact away from the ball that gets the Red Hawks as a team, their first foul here of the second half. 15.56 to go in at 35-28, Western Michigan over Miami. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Fifteen fifty-six remains in our second half. 35-28, Western Michigan over Miami. Patrick gets you back with the here inside Millette Hall. Broncos are looking for three things tonight. They want to snap their 13-game losing streak. They want to get their first road win. They want to get their first MAC win of the season. All three of those are the line tonight for the Broncos. So far, they're on track to do so. A jumper here far away is good off the hands of Max Smith to open us out of the timeout for Western Michigan. 37-28 Broncos with 15.30 left, second half. Red Hawks to the ball, top of the key. Coleman Land shovels a pass near wing. Larry back to the far wing here for Dana Grant. Gets it left side of the paint. McNamara working here on Hastings. They'll win that post battle. Spin around off the glass for two. Good job by McNamara. Turn his back to the hoop and it spun around the left-handed shot. The layup off the glass for a pair. Norman Jr. top of the key, works it near wing here for Max Smith. Far side, Hastings is on it. Bounces it right side of the paint. With it, here's Max Smith. He will charge Dana Grant. And the ball is headed back to the Red Hawks. And a lucky turnover there. Broncos lead the turnovers 10 to 8. And by lucky turnover, I mean that for the Red Hawks. Still a seven point Bronco lead, just past the 15 minute mark here. That much time is left in our second half. 
Larry top of the key, near wing pass for Grant to the right side of the paint, working here, Harrison locked up by a couple of gray uniforms. He got Martin trying to steal it away, but then Larry took it from him and takes it to the rack from the top of the key in the Red Hawks offensive end. Martin over the timeline right wing for Western Michigan. Hastings with it top of the key, near wing Smith. Outside the arc, tosses in McMillan, drives baseline off the window, too hard with the right arm. Here's Grant over the timeline here on the right wing. Dishes back for Coleman Lance. Isaiah Coleman lands outside the arc, passes far wing. Larry's on it here. Makai Larry dances his way around the arc, gets it back up top of the key. Far wing is Dana Grant, bounces to the far corner, 12 to shoot. McNamara holds on here, the jumper off, it's short, rebounded to the hands of Smith, tosses up for Adrian Martin. Martin top of the key, far side pass, Smith drives baseline off the glass. Too hard, but a foul whistle here, I believe they got McNamara. The foul is on line, line, There's a standard foul there on a post drive from an offensive player for Miami. Who pick up the Red Hawks, their second team foul here in the second half, 13.50 to go Hello in it. And you got a couple of shots Max at the Smith. line here for Max Smith, chance to make it a three possession game again. 37-32 Broncos, first shot is good by Smith. They get 38-32. Red Hawks will bring out, Grant will bring out Harrison. Looks like Williams is back in and Mara Vaughn to make his first appearance of the night for the Red Hawks. He's been a bench player this year that's provided some reliable minutes for Miami when they needed them this season. Smith will fire off another free throw here. And that one is good. Puts the Broncos back up 39 to 32. So here comes Miami with the timeline, middle of the floor. It's Bakai Larry with it. Near wing pass here to Kamari Williams. Jumper from five feet away is good. On the baseline near wing. Much needed for Miami. Back to a five point lead. Western Michigan 39, Red Hawks 34. Far wing is white, hands off here to Adrian Martin. Martin top of the key, works it around the arc in the near wing. Back up top here for Artis White. White is around the arc, the right-handed dribble, tosses far side, Freeman with it. Back to the near wing, Hastings. Freeman far side with seven to shoot. Holds it above his head, gets it far away for Artis White. Three to shoot, White, three ball off, too far left, rebound tapped into the hands of Amox. Here comes Miami up the floor. Over the timeline right way, Coleman lands, drives through the paint, kicks it far side. Here is Larry, who will get it far away for Coleman lands. Top of the key, Avox. Back to the near wing for Kamari Williams. Trying to go around a screen there for McNamara. Williams hits the breaks free throw line. McNamara near wing, working here. Physical stuff with Danny Culp. Whistle for a foul as Culp, I believe, reached in. He will get the foul with eight to shoot. 12.45 is left here in the second, and you got an inbound coming from the Red Hawks. Near side of their baseline on offense with 20 to shoot. Avots will toss it in from the near wing. Finds Williams in the corner. Williams works it up the arc near wing. Now it's Avots, the left-handed drill in the top of the key, gets it there for Coleman Lance. Holds on with both arms. Coleman Lance around the arc, tosses far corner. With it here is Kamari Williams. Gets off a shot from the Mac logo that was tipped away there by Hastings. And here come the Broncos up the floor over the timeline on the right wing. It's Artis White. 12.20 left here in the second half. White hands off to Hastings. Top of the key is Martin. Back to the near wing for Freeman. Whistle here for a foul on the Red Hawks that happened away from the ball. Williams gets his first. As Kamari picks up Miami's third team foul here in the second half, Dana Grant will come back in for the Red Hawks. Larry is taken out. And the inbound will come from the Broncos near side of their offensive baseline. Artis White tosses in here to Danny Culp. Culp up top of the key, Adrian Martin, near wing White. Outside the arc on the left side, White 
around the arc, will get it top of the key. Freeman tosses in, Cole to the far side. Martin, three ball is good with six on the shot clock. And the Broncos take an eight point advantage now at 42-34. 11.50 left here in the second half. Top of the key, McNamara, Miami back on offense. Grant far wing, holds it above his head. Gives it up, McNamara here on the left side. He'll dribble the right arm, turn his back to Martin. McNamara, hook shot with the left arm. That was short, but a foul is whistled as Martin, a blatant reach in on the attempt by McNamara. We'll get a media timeout. 11.38 to go here in the second. 42-34, Western Michigan holding on to the steady lead here in the second half. And this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Eleven thirty-eight to go here in the second. 42-34, Western Michigan over Miami. It has been a Broncos lead for pretty much the majority of this game. Western Michigan has led for 86% of it. 24 minutes, 25 seconds. Miami's led for just 47 seconds of this game. Eli McNamara will shoot a pair of free throws under the timeout for the Red Hawks. The first one is too hard. This building is very quiet when Red Hawk shoots free throws. This one is good from McNamara. So that makes it a seven point Bronco lead at 42 to 35. Broncos toss it in here. Over the timeline far wing is Adrian Martin. Gets it far side, here is Danny Cole. Gets it up top for White, outside the arc of the far wing. Near wing is Lopsinger. Right-handed dribble, kicks it over far side. White dribbles toward the corner, gets to the rack. Layup is good for two with the left arm. And you have 11-11 to go in the second half, 44-35 Broncos. Grant tosses into the near wing. Here is Precious Isle, holds on with both arms. Works it top of the key from Danny Grant, down to the left elbow, Aya. 
Up top of Vaughts, a three is good. Mara Vaughts, it seems as though the Red Hawks will never really let the Broncos get a big lead in this game. They always find a way to keep it somewhat close. 44-38, Broncos lead it. It's always though kind of a two possession game here in the second half. Wobzinger top of the key with some room to work through the paint. Gets off a right-handed shot on the right edge of the paint. Missed too far right. Offensive rebound though for the Broncos. They work at top of the key. Martin got a pass from Colt who got the rebound. Right side with a Wobzinger down, down three. Misses that one short. Rebound precious Aya. Even up there for Dana Grant over the timeline left wing for the Red Hawks. Grant is around the arc here on the near wing. It's at top of the key for Coleman Lands. Far side Williams. Avon's with it up top of the key for the Red Hawks. Bounces far side. Left wing is Dana Grant. Gets off a three ball. That is missed, but a foul is whistled. Grant was knocked over. They say two shots. He was right on the arc, so I beg your pardon. I made a guess there when I figured he was outside the arc in the shot, but the referee says he was right on the line, about as close as you could get. But nonetheless, fouled on that attempt is Grant. He's got two. Or is it three? I beg your pardon. First one is good for Grant. I thought he was outside the arc. The referee initially said two shots when they first called a foul. Let's see what this thing, now he's got two more here, okay. This one from Dana Grant. He's good. So I beg your pardon, I thought it was a two point shot, but it was three, so Grant has one more to try to complete the three point play, free throw style for the Red Hawks. Can make it a one possession three point game with this free throw. Miami down by three. And that shot is good. 10.04 to go in the second. Three point Western Michigan advantage. Artis White with the ball over the timeline, right wing for Western Michigan. Tosses near wing for Hastings. Hastings with the top of the key. Tosses around there for Artis White. Outside the arc in the far wing. White will get it up top here for Norman Jr. with 13 to shoot. Norman Jr. inside the arc and back out. Far wing is McMillan. He'll get it to the far corner for Artis White. White holds it above his head, working here on Avots. He let it go out of bounds, and it's going to go back to the Red Hawks with 9.37 to go in the second half. A clean, just bobbled the ball that went out of bounds for White. All by himself, he did that. Let it go out in the corner. So it's Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks here with the left hand to dribble around the arc of the far wing. Gets it near side, Williams, top of the key, Grant. Far wing is Mikhail Larry. Walks it back, top of the key with 15 to shoot. He'll feed it down low. And the pass there was two feet in front of the intended target. Kamari Williams goes out of bounds to the baseline. And the Broncos inbound here as Hastings tosses in to Artis White. White with it over the timeline here on the right wing for Western Michigan. Feeds it near wing, Hastings on it with 20 to shoot for the Broncos. Gave it up here for Norman Jr. Through the paint here on the near wing. Toss back there. Freeman back up top to keep for White with a left-handed dribble. Far side Norman Jr. Long range three. Too hard. Rebound in the corner. McMillan and will feed this one back. Western Michigan the offensive board. Hastings back up top. McMillan works with 12 to shoot. McMillan to the rack. Whistle for a foul as he missed it short near side of the post. On the drive down the left side of the paint, Red Hawks will pick it up. Aya gets his second, the team's fourth of the second half with 8.44 to go in it. And you got McMillan here to shoot two for the Broncos. First one, McMillan is good. Sub comes in for Western Michigan. That is Max Smith. McNamara pops in for the Red Hawks. Aya comes out. And then McMillan here will shoot off another one for the Broncos. So lead it by four. 45 41, 844 to go in the second half. 
Next one, McMillan is good. So now a five point Bronco lead. Getting to crunch time here for the Red Hawks. Avant's over the timeline, middle of the floor, near wing feed for Makai Larry. Far side pass here for McNamara, gets it up Avant's in the paint, near corner, Grant three ball is good. And Grant is now two for five from outside the arc in the game tonight. 8.20 to go in the second. Two point game now, Broncos lead the Red Hawks. 46-44. Top of the key, they work it. Here's McMillan dribbling around the arc. Still with the ball in both arms. Broncos at 12 to shoot, pass middle, picked off. Avots bobbled it going to the rack, has to pick it up near corner, but gets a three off from there, too far right. McNamara can't clean up the rebound. We get a whistle for a Bronco foul as they fought for the second chance in the paint. Avots picked off a pass, middle of the floor, took it down the floor, he bobbled it. Could not go up for the layup, lost it in the near corner, shot a three, missed that. Red Hawks came in trying to tip the put back from that shot. They also missed that one. And then a fight for it in the paint. Broncos pick up a foul. McMillan grabs his second for Western Michigan. 7.57 to go in the second. Two point Bronco lead. Don't go anywhere. Jimmy, a good finish from the left. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Seven fifty-seven to go, second half, 46-44, Western Michigan over Miami. After getting back to the air inside Millet Hall, we will have some free throws coming here out of our media timeout. Dana Grant is to the line for the Red Hawks, following the foul that took us into the timeout as the second personal against McMillan. It is a one-and-one -one shot at the line for Grant. It's a single bonus now for the Red Hawks. And the free throw is good by Dene, the first one. So bring it back to a one point Bronco lead and Grant can tie the game with his next and final free throw at this trip. And it's good. Grant took his time there. There's some noise around the area. Courtside patrons. White's over the timeline, right away for the Broncos. We're tied at 46. Far wing McMillan, top of the key, Hastings. Holds it with both arms. 
Takes it around the arc, hands off there for Norman Jr. Holds on to it there, back for Hastings, right elbow, works his way through the paint. The left-handed shot is short from right in front. He fights for his own rebound. He gets three Red Hawks in the post and comes up for a shot and is fouled after missing that one short. Hastings with pure effort beating three Red Hawks for the ball down low. 7.33 to go here in the second. We're tied at 46. Hastings next one is too hard. The first free throw at this trip. He's got another free throw here coming up. People get a little restless inside Milan Hall right now. Second free throw, Hastings misses too far right. Dana Grant down to the rebound for Miami. Toss is middle here for Larry over the timeline, middle of the floor. Makai with the ball. Gets it to the left elbow. McNamara holds it above his head. Gives it off for Larry here inside the free throw line. Near wing. Williams a three ball too far right, but he's fouled after the shot. And Williams here will likely get three free throws at the line as he was knocked over by Freeman following the shot. It is three free throws. And in a tie game at 46, the Red Hawks with a chance to take a three-point lead as Williams to the line. He is perfect in the free throw department this year, 11-4-11. Too far right on the first one. First miss of the year at the line for Williams, 7-15 to go in the second. They tied at 46. Williams' next one is good. 47 46, Miami. And Williams sixth out with two. Red Hawks lead by two. 7 15 to go in the second. White gets it for the Broncos over the timeline here on the right wing. Point working here with Amots. Takes it far side, top of the key with it here is Freeman. Freeman dishes inside for Norman Jr. Whistle for a foul. And that is gonna be on the Broncos. You hear Jack Owens yelling, yes, yes, yes. That was him. Norman got his second, I don't know what he did. Something away from the ball obviously. Here comes Avon to over the timeline, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. And then they lead by two. McNamara top of the key here for Larry, 6.48 to go in the second. Larry far side outside the arc, near wing here for Dana Grant, works through the paint, whistle for a foul. On the Broncos, and fouls are killing Western Michigan here. The artist White gets his first. Again, 6.43 to go here in the second. Grant is waiting to shoot more free throws at the line. We get a whistle here for a 30-second timeout. It becomes a media timeout. I believe it was called by the Red Hawks. We'll have to double check on that. I think Jack Owens wanted to just take a breather here before these next free throws. So our final media timeout of the game, 6.43 to go here in the second. Red Hawks up by two on Western Michigan. We're back in a moment. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Hello once again, and I am Patrick Holland, your host for tonight. Coming up on your first game report, we will take a look back at tonight's game, and we'll update you on the stats of the evening. We'll also take a peek at the out-of-town scores. And once again, that's coming up on your post-game report. Back to you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Looking forward to it. we got a long way to go, though. 6.43 to go in the second. And Danny Grant shooting free throws for the Red Hawks. First one is good. He has two at the line. The foul is whistled coming into the timeout to Artis White is first. And the next one here for Day Day. That's good too. So the Red Hawks lead by two possessions now at 50 to 46. 640 left here in the second. Over the timeline right away from the Broncos. Artis White to Hastings, top of the key. Near wing here is Max Smith down the right side of the paint to the rack for two. Here comes Avon over the timeline right wing for the Red Hawks. 6.25 to go on the second. Outside the arc, Larry here on the far wing for the Red Hawks. Gets it top of the key. McNamara tosses back for Larry. Larry's around the arc. Gets it up top again for Grant. Near wing Avon. 13 to shoot. Jumper Avon is fouled. This shot was no good, it was too far left, but two free throws at the line for Ray Vaughn to the Broncos, I believe, just got their 10th as a team here in the half. And the fouls are killing Western Michigan right now. 9-2 run for the Red Hawks in the last two minutes and 32 seconds. And Avon is two at the line here for the Red Hawks. Four for four from the stripe this year. First one is good. Three-point Red Hawk lead, 6-12 to go in a second. Avon can put it back to four with a bucket here. Too far left on the next free throw. Rebound to Norman Jr. Here's White over the timeline, middle of the floor for Western Michigan. 6-0-3 to go here in the second. Top the key is Hastings. Win the ball, hands it back there for White. White the bounce back, Hastings far wing. Will get it down low to the right edge of the paint. Working here on McNamara, all over him. Is McMillan, spin around shot. And McNamara's only option was to foul. It came up short. Never mind, it was Avance who came in and made contact. They say McNamara was the main guy who was battling with McMillan. But Avon, I guess, came in from behind there and got him on the arm. 5.48 to go in the second. Broncos trail by three. McMillan has a couple of shots here at the line. Chance to bring it back to within one. And the first shot is good. Next one here for McMillan. And that's good too. McMillan shooting 70% at the line this season. So makes it back to a one point game. 51-50 Miami, 542 to go here in the second half. Larry with it near wing outside the arc for the Red Hawks. And he tots far side here for Dana Grant. Inside the arc and back out. Grant holds it above his head. Bounces down left edge of the paint. Here's McNamara working there on Martin and he will fire it off the glass short. Came off the rim left side, McNamara spin around. Did not get it to go. Here come the Broncos, trail by one. 5.15 to go in the game. Norman Jr. around the arc here, the baseline. We get a whistle here. They tie it up as McNamara got his arms in there on the drive in by Norman. The possession here with the Broncos, so they're gonna inbound here far side of their offensive baseline with 18 to shoot. And a one point game led by the Red Hawks. 51-50. Inbound will come here from White. Gets it into the baseline area. With it now is Norman Jr. Tosses back here on the far side of the paint. McMillan gets to McNamara, and McNamara commits. Call the foul on McNamara. Eli McNamara for the Red Hawks just picked up his fourth. Team foul number seven on Miami, so you get the one and one bonus now for the Broncos, and that's what McMillan will shoot here for Western Michigan. He's four for four from the line tonight. The first one is good. 
to tie the game at 51 with 5.05 to go in the second. Precious Sia comes back in for Miami. McNamara is out. Of course, Eli, one more foul, and he is out of the game, period. Next free throw here from McMillan. And that's good. 52-51, Broncos retake the lead. Here's Avots over the timeline on the left wing for the Red Hawks. It's the far side for Dana Grant. Top of the key, works at far corner. Here is Aya coming in, left side of the paint. He did two 360s on McMillan and cutting it in with a right arm for two on the floater. 4.45 to go in the second. Pure acrobatic stuff from Aya. Hastings gets it far wing, Artis White tosses into the far corner. McMillan here working on Aya, the other end of the floor, and his shot is short as Precious stood up to him. Here comes Larry over the timeline right away. Feeds it far away. Grant the three is good. Red Hawks take the lead 56 52. Listen to this crowd. White is over the timeline right away for Western Michigan. Far side Hastings, top of the key, McMillan. 4 10 to go in the second. Long range three. Norman Jr. short. Grant crashing in for the rebound. He will knock it out of bounds, but the last touch. Goes off of Marquise Hastings, and the Brock goes it out the baseline. We have 4.05 to go in the second. Two large losing streaks on the line tonight. Who will get theirs snapped this evening? Larry's over the timeline here on the left point for the Red Hawks. Tosses down low, Aya off the glass, too hard, too left as well. Brock goes up the floor on the right wing, on the timeline comes White. Tosses back to Norman Jr. With it here, the right-handed dribble back up top of the key, 20 to shoot. Norman Jr. driving through the lane, puts it up, and one! It fell in for Norman Jr. after hanging on the rim. 3.41 to go in the second, 56-54 Miami. And a chance for a three-point play coming up here for Western Michigan. When we come back, Red Hawks up by two. An exciting finish on tap. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three forty-one to go in the second. Red Hawks lead the Western Michigan Broncos 56-54 in our game tonight. And Miami here has tried to snap their five-game losing streak. Broncos have a 13-game one of their own, but Western Michigan 
trying their best to stop that. They got a great opportunity tonight, and Red Hawks don't want to let them snap it on their home floor, that's for sure. Free throws out of our timeout. Lamar Norman Jr. with the first one. It's good. 56-55, now a one-point Red Hawk lead. Here comes Larry over the timeline here for the Red Hawks. Middle of the floor. Left-handed dribble, gets it far away here for Dana Grant. Grant around the arc, tosses down low. Aya at the baseline, trying to go up and under. Missed it short with his right arm. Here comes Western Michigan, it's Artis White. 3.20 left here in the second. White the right-handed dribble here around the arc for the Broncos in the near way. Get it inside the arc, toss it back out. Here's Martin, holds it above his head with 11 to shoot. Martin to the rack, he was fouled. Never mind, they call it an offensive violation on Martin. Yet Aya that went down initially, I thought they called a block. Martin though came in to knock Aya over. And they call a charge, offensive violation on the Broncos. So that means that the Red Hawks inbound near side of their baseline, up by one with 3.05 left here in the second. And we get an inbound here. The Red Hawks take it over the timeline. A 30 second timeout as Grant pitched it in there to Larry. And a timeout is called here by the Red Hawks who again lead by one with 3.03 to go in the second. Red Hawks are home on Saturday. They got a double header between the men's and women's teams. Women's team plays at one and the men's team plays Saturday at 3.30 against Bowling Green. Red Hawks then are on the road. They go to Ohio on Tuesday, a week from tonight, a seven o'clock start in Athens. And then on Saturday, February 19th, it's a week from Saturday, the Red Hawks visit the Northern Illinois Huskies for a 4.30 start. Western Michigan home on Saturday. They start at seven at University Arena in Kalamazoo when the Chippewas of Central Michigan. And then Tuesday, they're home as well, a week from tonight against the Zips of Akron. All right, Red Hawks inbound here, far side of their offensive end of the floor. It is Avants to toss in here to Mikhail Larry with 2.58 to go in the second. Larry gets it down low, Grant, right elbow jumper is good. A little floater is kind of shot for Grant, who's kind of moving to his right as well. Beautiful there to put Miami back up by three, and 58-55. Top of the key is Artis White here for Western Michigan. 2.38 to go here in the second. Near wing is Norman Jr. Outside the arc, tosses inside McMillan, left edge of the paint, 10 to shoot, McMillan, the right-handed dribble. Working here on Aya, McMillan gets it up with the right arm with six to shoot, whistle no. And we get a foul called on the play, I believe on the Broncos. It's an offensive violation, I think they got white. There's something around behind the ball. Over the timeline, left point comes Larry. I mean, the fouls are just killing Western Michigan here in the second half. Larry down the right edge of the paint, the floater, the foul, he couldn't get it to go, it was too far left. But a whistle here as Larry was two feet away from the rack when he fired that shot off. 2.15 to go in the second, Miami 58, Western Michigan 55. You have two shots at the line from Akai and a chance to make this a two possession game and a maximum five point difference between these two teams. It's good. 59-55. Next one from Larry to make it a five point game. That's good too, such a reliable free throw shooter, over 90% on the season. Five point lead for the Red Hawks, White over the timeline, right away for the Broncos, Western Michigan will use a timeout. They have one left, the Red Hawks have two timeouts to go. We have 2.12 to go in the second, Miami 60, Western Michigan 55. So a five point Miami lead, the Red Hawks really have not led much of this game at all. They've only led five minutes and 37 seconds of it. Broncos have led for 28 minutes. In comparison, it was really in the earlier stages of the second half, up until about five minutes left in the second half. All Western Michigan in this game. I mean, they were out.
about rebounding Miami. They were getting to the hoop on both ends of the floor much easier than the Red Hawks. Working around Miami's defense very effectively. And so for the Broncos, things have just really gotten tough here in the last, let's say, three to four minutes of the game as we've gotten to the later stages of it. They will inbound here. The Broncos will far sideline of their offensive end. It goes into McMillan who tosses back here for White. 2.08 to go in the second. Five-point Red Hawk lead. Broncos far wing outside the arc. McMillan tosses back for Norman Jr. Takes it right wing outside the arc with 13 to go. Norman Jr. drives in. The foul. The shot is short. It was a right arm kind of hook there that went off right edge of the paint on the drive in by the Max leading scorer and Lamar Norman Jr. He'll have two at the line here with 157 to go in the second. It is 60-55 Miami. Norman is 10 tonight for the Broncos. He's averaging 20.2 a game to lead the lead. First one is it good for Norman Jr. who is a 78% free throw shooter on the season. Chance to make it a one possession game again on this free throw and he will do so. 60-57 Miami, we get a whistle for a stoppage before the Red Hawk inbound. Coleman Lance comes in, coming out is Avots for the Red Hawks. Coleman Lance tonight is three. The leading score for Miami, by the way, is Dana Grant. He is 24 tonight. He's averaging 16 a game this year to lead Miami. Coleman Lance the far side. Here's Mikai Larry in the corner. Works it up around the arc, driving down the lane. Larry kind of coughed it up, gets it back. The shot too far left for the Mac logo in the paint, two feet away. Broncos win it down by three with 90 seconds to go. Top of the key is Norman Jr. with it for Western Michigan. Left-handed dribble. Works it around the arc here on the far side. Norman Jr. inside the arc, kicks it top of the key. McMillan, near wing is white. Down low here for Hastings. He will get to the rack, but a whistle for a double dribble on Hastings of Western Michigan. And the ball back to Miami with a 119 to go in the second. Red Hawks lead by three. Inbound to Coleman Lance, finds Larry. Over the timeline here on the right wing for Miami. They're up by three, 112 to go in the game. Top of the key, Dana Grant here for the Red Hawks. Holds on to it with both arms, walks it around the arc on the far side, and back up top here on the left side. Now we get a whistle for a timeout. As Grant just holding on to the ball there for the Red Hawks. They have 12 to shoot. There is exactly one minute left in the game. A full timeout here called by the Red Hawks. So each team now is one timeout remaining in the game. If Miami were to pull this off. You could really credit their persistence. And how they never really gave up. They believed in themselves, kept fighting through the end. Mention how much the Broncos have led in this game. Over 70% of the time in this game was when Western Michigan was leading on the scoreboard. The Red Hawks stuck with it. They hung in there. They kept it a one or two possession game for the majority of our second half. Miami finds themselves up now by one possession with a minute to go in the second half. 60-57 Red Hawks. Dana Grant the leading scorer again for the Red Hawks. He is 24 tonight. Six for 13 from the field, six rebounds. Lamar Norman Jr. for Western Michigan has 12 points this evening to lead the Broncos. They have three Broncos in double figures. Norman Jr. with 12, White with 10, McMillan with 11. There's two Red Hawks at double figures. Grant with 24. Larry has 11. Makai had 27 against Akron on Sunday. Larry now with just 11 in this game tonight. But that's enough to contribute for sure. Red Hawks inbound far side in their offensive end. 10 to shoot. Less than a minute to go in the second half. Up by three. Grant with a far wing outside the arc. Works at top of the key. Three to shoot. Guns a pass down low. Aya holds on to it. Off the glass. It is too hard, but a whistle for a foul. On the Broncos. He had Grant pretty much locked up there outside the arc. The only option he had was to gun a pass down low. I a great job to use his strength, hold on to it, get a shot up, and he was fouled. And an, an unfortunate foul there to pick up for the Broncos. Mentioned how much they have fouled here in the second half. 
Down on the floor is White. He is really shaking up for Western Michigan. Slow to get up. I think he's grabbing something in his upper body, maybe. Yeah, his left arm. Limping as he comes off. So the referees here will whistle a timeout. On the floor, I think you're going to review that last foul to see if it was anything more than a common foul given to Aya. Aya was kind of sideswiped by a defender, maybe got a chop on his arm when he was shooting that right side of the post. After getting the feed from outside the arc by Grant, Aya was just trying to throw it up, get a shot off, period. Whether it went in or not, I don't think he cared, just wanted to maybe draw a foul there and get a shot at some points. Referees are done reviewing. I think we'll stay with the status quo. It'll be just a common foul here, and I is going to shoot free throws for the Red Hawks. Left two with 49.7 to go here in the second. Miami up by three. 60-57 on Western Michigan. So I is at the line for two. First one is too hard. Precious a 68% free throw shooter this season. Coming in is Avons for Miami. He will replace Myjay White ahead of the second Aya free throw. And that's good. Four point Red Hawk lead, 49.7 to go in the second half. Here comes Western Michigan. Norman Jr. takes it over the timeline here on the right wing. That's toward the middle with Larry guarding him. Norman Jr., the left-handed dribble, walks it down to the left elbow and back outside the arc. 16 to shoot. Norman Jr. gets off a three, too far left. Big rebound is grabbed by the Red Hawks. In the near corner, Grant got it. 27 on the shot clock, 27 on the game clock. We get a whistle for a foul as Grant was cutting his way through the middle of the floor at half court. The foul is whistled to the Broncos. Number two, that would be Martin. He just got his fifth, so he fouled out. Adrian Martin is done for Western Michigan. He has Smith coming in to take his place. Dana Graham will shoot two. Short on the first one, 27.3 seconds left. It is a 61-57 Miami lead, and before the second free throw to Grant, the Broncos will use their final timeout. It is a full timeout to talk things over here. So it's still a winnable game for the Broncos for sure. 27.3 to go, they're down by four, but it becomes a much different story here if you got Dana Grant making this next free throw to put Miami up by five rather than four. We'll see what happens, Dana at the line tonight. It is nine for 10, so that was his first missed free throw at the line this evening. He has 24 points to lead the Red Hawks by far. Six for 13 from the field, seven rebounds. And the Broncos here will see what they come out with with a game plan on the timeout. And again, a Western Michigan team that can get to the rack quickly, they can push quickly, and we've seen that in this game tonight. Miami trying to snap a five-game losing streak this evening. Broncos would love to snap a 13-game skid of their own. And it's Grant at the line here for the next free throw for Miami. Junior from Lorain, Ohio. Put Miami up by five. Good. 62-57, Red Hawks shot clock is off. 26 seconds left in the second half. Norman Junior over the timeline on the right wing. Passes off to Artis White. Top of the key, White needs to move. 16 seconds to go. Guarded heavily there by Avonts. Finds Max Smith, top of the key. He'll get off a three. Too far left. Rebound in the hands of White. He'll get off a three, top of the key. That's too far right. Rebound to Dana Grant. He will hold on with two seconds to go. And the Red Hawks will hold on and win it. 62-57, your final tonight from inside Millette Hall. 
And Miami will snap their five game losing streak. They will grab their fourth MAC win of the year. And the Red Hawks pick up a critical conference win over the Western Michigan Broncos this evening. For Western Michigan, the losing streak grows to 14. Broncos are now 0-12 on the road this year. They are 0-13 in the MAC. It's a tough one for the Broncos who led the majority of this game, over 70% of it here tonight, but ended up falling to Miami after kind of some late game stuff by the Broncos, some miscues, a lot of fouls, some turnover trouble. They eventually fall in it again by 5.62-57, your final this evening from inside Millette Hall. The Red Hawks improved to 10 and 13 overall, 4 and 8 in the MAC. Broncos fall to 4 and 20 overall, 0 and 13 in the conference. Let's get our post-game show rolling. Here is Patrick Holland. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the uh, Miami Red Hawk post game show. I'm your host, Patrick Allen. Tonight, the Miami Red Hawks snapped their five game losing streak as they won 62 to 57. You know, as we look back at this game in the first half, it kind of was a tale of two halves. In the first half, they started, Miami really struggled to get in any sort of rhythm early. For the first five minutes, they started the game two for 11. They dug themselves to do a bad nine to two hole. Eventually, they got themselves into a little bit of a rhythm as the half progressed and cut that lead down. However, in the second half, they let the Broncos still go on 12-0 runs, and these long runs and streaky styles of play have typically been the plaguing Miami's ability to win. However, Miami at the 10-minute mark of the second half, the game pivoted and had a run of their own, which was 11-2. Miami's second half was vitally important, and getting on these runs was crucial to winning this game. Another key element of winning this game is free throws, and Miami converted those into points. Miami uh, on the night shot 19 for 24, while the Broncos shot 18 for 23. In a close game like this, those points are the difference between winning and losing. Another key part of winning this game, and when you're in, particularly in a losing streak, you need your big players to show up. And tonight, Day Day Grant answered that. Grant on the night had 25 points. He was absolutely crucial to winning this game, and he converted free throws of his own as he was perfect. I, I'm part of me, he only missed one free throw from the line. Tonight, Miami snapped its five-game losing streak and keeps their MAC tournament hopes alive, while the, Michigan, while the Western Michigan Broncos continue their winless streak in the MAC. As we take a larger look around the league tonight, the UConn Huskies did beat the Marquette Golden Flashes in an upset, winning 80 to 72. Auburn and Arkansas, the number one team, being Auburn, have now gone to officially gone to overtime. It looks like Wisconsin is going to win the next this game as the half is almost nearing an end as the Wisconsin Badgers are up 65 to 58 over the Michigan State Spartans and tonight we'll have to see how the Illinois fighting Illini do up against the Purdue Boilermakers in a top 15 clash once again the Miami Redhawks win 62 to 57 over the, the Western Michigan Broncos and their next game will be back here at Millette Hall where the Red Hawks will take on the Bowling Green Falcons in a clash at 3.30 this Saturday. This, this, ultimate, this game has been a presentation of Miami Basketball and Red Hawk Radio. Thank you for tuning in. And once again, I'm your host, Patrick Holland. It's been a pleasure, and we will see you next time on Red Hawk Radio. Thank you for listening.